This is Gordie Howe International Bridge, a 1.6-mile-long marvel nearing the end of construction and set to be one of the most expensive bridges ever built. This mega-project will connect two major cities across the Canada-US border and facilitating billions of dollars in additional trade and travel. But not everyone likes it. A billionaire spent over 10 years trying to stop it from being built. Why did he do this? And what's so special about this bridge? Let's take a closer look at one of the most exciting infrastructure projects of the century. The trade relationship between the US and Canada is the largest in the world. In 2021, Canada surpassed China to become the US biggest trading partner with $664 billion worth of goods exchanged. A significant portion of this trade happens here. Detroit is a major center for car manufacturing, so many vehicles and car parts move back and forth across the border. Other items like cosmetics, vaccines, and even blood are also part of this trade. Every day, goods worth more than $300 million are transported between Windsor and Detroit. This results in a lot of taxes and tolls being collected on bridges connecting the two cities. The toll revenue is often used to cover the costs of building and maintaining these structures. While most toll bridges were taken over by state highway departments in the 20th century, but some are still owned by private companies. One example is the 92-year-old Ambassador Bridge, located just a couple of miles from the new Gordie Howe Bridge. The Ambassador Bridge has been privately managed since 1929 and was brought by billionaire Manuel Maroon in the late 1970s. Currently, trucks pay $45 to cross this bridge. The Ambassador Bridge sees heavy truck traffic. In 2021, an average of 263 trucks crossed its four lanes every hour, and on particularly busy days, this number can rise to around 500 trucks per hour. While this heavy traffic is good for business, but not for travel times. This is where the Gordie Howe Bridge comes into play. Proposed nearly 20 years ago, the new bridge aims to provide an alternative route to alleviate congestion on the Ambassador Bridge. And getting it built is a massive undertaking. After all the political battles, the real challenge of engineering the bridge lay ahead. The Gordie Howe Bridge will be held up by cables spanning directly from two main towers, which will bear the weight of the road. These massive towers on opposite sides of the Detroit River, each soaring 220 meters high and designed to resemble the curve of an ice hockey stick to honor the legendary hockey player Gordie Howe. These towers will be some of the tallest structures in the region. Before building up, the crew had to drill down. They created a stable base for the towers by digging six deep drill shafts into the bedrock. When finished, the Gordie Howe Bridge will include six lanes for motor vehicles, with three lanes heading to the US and three to Canada. It will also feature an 11-foot-wide pedestrian and bicycle path. This project is essential for American infrastructure, as many bridges across the country are nearing the end of their usable life. The project will also involve constructing new ports of entry connecting the bridge terminals in both countries. The new Canadian port of entry will be situated on a 130-acre site, making it the largest Canadian port along the U.S.-Canadian border. The U.S. port of entry will cover 167 acres. It will be one of the largest border facilities in North America. Both ports will have facilities for inspecting vehicles entering and leaving, with space to expand if necessary. Additionally, the project will include improvements to the Michigan Highway Interchange, adding five new pedestrian walkways and four new overpasses. Key intersections will be widened to facilitate smoother traffic flow for trucks and other vehicles, improving connectivity between I-75 and the U.S. Port of Entry. The project is divided into four main phases. Once finished, it will be the longest cable stay bridge in North America, spanning 853 meters across the Detroit River. The $5.4 billion project is expected to be completed in 2025, but getting to this point hasn't been easy. A major obstacle was Manuel Maroon, the owner of the Ambassador Bridge. When plans for the Gordie Howe Bridge emerged, Maroon was against the new bridge and even sued the government to stop it. He proposed adding another span to his existing bridge instead. Critics argued that Maroon opposed the new bridge because he didn't want to lose revenue from tax-free gas sales. Adding another span to the Ambassador Bridge wasn't an ideal solution. It could create security risks and problems if nearby roads needed to close. 
Plus, businesses rely on smooth border crossings, with over a billion dollars worth of goods crossing each day. Having more crossing options is crucial. By 2035, the new bridge could generate about $240 million a year. Despite nearly two decades of legal battles, Maroon's attempts to stop the project were unsuccessful, and construction finally started in 2018. The next year, President Trump allocated $15 million in federal funds for the Gordie Howe Bridge. The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project boasts an impressive collection of public artworks, with local artists enhancing the bridge tower's aesthetic during construction. The project will also feature architectural lighting designed by a skilled artist to enhance the bridge's visual impact. As cross-border traffic is expected to increase from 18,500 vehicles a day in 2016 to 26,500 by 2025, the Gordie Howe International Bridge will play a crucial role in ensuring the smooth, efficient, and orderly movement of people and goods between Canada and the United States. Let's take a look at the remarkable milestones achieved in the Gordie Howe International Bridge project over the past few years. Towers reaching an impressive 220 meters were erected, which were built to last an extraordinary 125 years. On Canada Day, July 1, 2020, the project hit a major milestone with the start of concrete placement for the tower footings. Over six months, 7,600 cubic meters of concrete were poured. In 2021, attention turned to constructing the tower legs. Innovative methods like cambered legs and temporary crossbeams were used to combat gravity's effects. By July 2021, the critical T1 beam, essential for balancing horizontal forces, was installed. A major milestone was achieved on March 29, 2022, when the first deck element on the Canadian side was successfully lifted, despite the corrosive climate near Zug Island's industrial district. To fight corrosion, a durable three-coat paint technique was applied, designed to last 40 years. The Gordie Howe Bridge is an amazing example of engineering, and even more, it could transform one of the key border crossings globally. Perhaps all the political issues surrounding it will finally be resolved. At its peak, around 2,300 workers were involved in construction activities. In January 2024, it was officially announced that the bridge deck's completion was on schedule for the end of the year, ensuring progress toward the bridge's anticipated opening in fall 2025. Once construction is finished, Bridging North America will get monthly payments for operating and maintaining the bridge for 30 years. This improved connectivity isn't just about saving time, it's also about reducing fuel consumption and emissions. Do you think the Gordie Howe International Bridge will help reduce traffic problems between Canada and the US? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.